Hey, it's Code here, and today I'm going to show you how we can create a MySQL database inside a Docker container. And I struggled to actually find some good documentation showcasing how we create a Docker file, how we then run this Docker file, how we then have a SQL file like this, and how we then give this SQL file to our newly created Docker container, have a Docker container set up this, in this case, database and table, and then insert some data where we then have a Docker container running with some mock data like this. And we would then later on be able to connect our Docker container containing our database to, for example, our website. But in this video, I'm just simply going to demonstrate how we create a Docker file, how we run the container or build the image first, run the container, then going to go into the container and showcase that this SQL file have loaded. So first, I very simply have a Docker file where I just create a from my SQL latest. So I built upon some other image, which is kind of like the main perspective of Docker. We don't build everything ourselves, but use a MySQL image. So we actually have this setup of the database inside the Docker container. We then simply set an environment variable, which is going to be our password, which we will later on use to actually access our MySQL database. And I'm just very simply set it to root. So I do environment variable in the isql underscore root underscore password equals root. I then, as mentioned, also have my database underscore students dot sql file, which is just a very simple sql file, which we will use to basic sql using mysql, create database, use database, create a table, some variables, some information, and we then insert some information into this table. And what we can very simply do which is based upon this MySQL image we're building upon, is that we can take this copy, our from current position, and then our database underscore students.sql, could be any file, and we're then going to copy this file into this directory called docker entry point initialize db or init db dot d. And what is inside this specific folder then be run after MySQL have been loaded then allow us to input this sql file and then have this run again create database use database create table insert information into database so this is our setup and what we actually do will i be showcasing using the terminal we could actually use the like the docker they got some kind of graphical interface but i prefer to always use terminals so i just have this terminal where we are at our current position inside this folder. As you can see, we have our database file and our Docker file. And just to showcase the main two commands that I'm using all the time is Docker images, which shows the list of all images. And now I have everything's empty, so I have none. And Docker container ls, which shows all the running containers. So what we do first is we would build an image based on this docker file. So we do docker build st tag and I'm then going to define where am I building this or from where am I building this? It's gonna be from the current position. Otherwise if I were somewhere else I would then tell our command where is this Docker file we're gonna build. Then build it. And because I have been building this previously it's gonna be quite fast but the first time we would need to like load this MySQL and then have it loaded somewhere in the back, back end of the Docker running program. But for me, it's going to be fast. So now I can do Docker images and we can see we now have a MySQL DB image, IDs when it was created and a size. I am then going to run this container, create a container, which means I'm running the image, which creates a container. I do Docker run. Let's actually have a look at our images so we can see where we're running. So we have this MySQL DB, so we'll docker run MySQL DB. We could add a dash D here for running it in D attached mode, which means we're running in the back. But if we just run it like this, it's gonna take up a terminal as you will just see shortly. But it's now setting up, it's running, and it's gonna be running inside this terminal so i can't use this terminal any longer i'll create a new one but you can now see here ready for connection 
and because I haven't like port forwarded this connection to anywhere, now we just have inside our Docker container a port this SQL is connected to, but I'm not gonna be worried about that, that in this video. So I just create a new terminal. We then have a look at our running container by doing Docker container ls. We can then see we have this running container. I will then start this container by doing, oh, it's already running, but I can then access it by doing docker sec dash interact mode and then this container. And we would then like to start bin slash bash. So go into this container and then access the terminal from this container. So as you can see now, we're actually inside our running Docker container, running SQL. So inside here, I think it might be run upon Ubuntu, but I'm not exactly sure, but it doesn't matter, it's just basic Linux. And here you need to have a basic understanding of Linux. So we do ls to showcase just this basic root. And as well here, we can find this docker entry point initialize b.d. And let's actually just go into this one, have a look. Inside here, we have our SQL file. And more interesting, we can then access our MySQL by doing MySQL. And we then do dash p for password. And I would then access, input the password just doing p without a space, root. Then tells us that we probably shouldn't, I think it might be telling us we shouldn't input the password and just some general information, the version of MySQL. And I can then now actually use it with SQL because now I'm directly inside the database. So I would just simply do show databases and remember the semicolon because we're actually running it as SQL. And we can then see here we have some basic information, schema, MySQL, form and schema, just some basic things that MySQL is just gonna set up as, as normal. We could delete them and change them, but we also have my student SQL, which as you can see was created from SQL file. I can then use Student. So now the database has been changed, and I can then show tables. And we can see that we only have one table, which is the students table, the one we created. And just to check that we actually have the information I think we have in this table, we can simply do select. So now we're actually just doing SQL queries. Select all from students. And we get our two students we have inputted through our SQL file, John Anderson and Emma Smith. So as you can see, by doing this, we're able to create a Docker file, which creates a MySQL database, set a password, then copy. I don't know if we can call this an operation file. Not really, but just the basic concept of setting up the basics of our database. And in this case, just inputting some more data. We then able inside our terminal, create this image, then run the container from this image, and then access this container, go into it, for example. Or we could port forward it if we wanted to use it in some kind of application. And we are then able to use MySQL with some basic SQL queries, see our data, and access that data. And here I could also input data because this actually works exactly as. Well, I could do insert and yes, I want to paste. Let's actually change names a bit. So we have John in two, as in two, Emma two, mid two. Add some people. We can then do again select all from students. And we now have more. So this actually just works as plain as good. But that is my basic showcase of how we can use and create a Docker file, which creates a very simple MySQL image, which we can then run as a container, a locally running container with MySQL, which we can then use for any application, or later on we can maybe put it to some servers. So if you enjoyed this showcase of Docker and MySQL, please leave a like and subscribe, and wish you all a wonderful 